shaking on the ground where have you been why you ain't been out lately to come see me girl <sighs> and who we're talking about is lizzo's aunt that i'm good friends with all right and we were out one particular day last week and she was telling me about her niece is uh messing with some boy some boy call him black boys hey that's him right there michael spell his name uh, M-Y-K-E, that is a normal way, M-I-C-H-A-E-L. That's how I had a problem with him right there. And I don't know what, Lizzo got them sixes in her forehead. Mm-hmm. They trying to make them like cute, cute little things, but those little sixes. Anybody in the consp conspiracy world, I don't know where we're going with it. I don't know why. Maybe she's telling us that's who she served and that's who she get down with. I don't know. Speculation. Moving on. So we were having lunch and stuff, and she was telling me that her niece, Lizzo, was uh, thinking about, you know, jumping the broom with the man or living with him or something to that degree. And I'm like, pump your brakes. Why give up the milk for free and you still living as a single person? It doesn't make sense to me. Somebody need to talk to her. She said, yes, yeah, I need to talk to her. Why don't you talk to her? I said, I said, I am not related to Lizzo, okay? Lizzo is young, fun, and have, you know, I say young, dumb, and having fun is what it is. But you really don't know. I don't know if the man, or do you know if the man she been dating, but is she dating him for a long time, girl? Are they, have they been dating for a long time? Or is this like six months to a year? And who really want to get married? Who really want to get married? Then she went on and started telling me, well, you know, she said she just want to be in the midst of him at this point. Uh, when she feels like it's getting serious and they need to get married because she would like to have businesses with him. And uh, right now, she just, you know, looking at everything from a different perspective and listening to what he's saying and filling her head up. And I was like, so you're trying to tell me Lizzo is counting on this man being the right man not only marry and have babies with but a man she can own a company with when it's that I said tell your uh, niece to go to sleep take a long long nap while she's a hibernating bear out there okay because she's talking to me how many men and how many past relationships couples have been married couples that bad have went and um, got themselves in a situation where they are married legally. Some happened way down the road, what could happen in the first six months. They don't do it, some of you won't do it, they don't took too much money out of the bank, all uh, frivolously and, and went and started some other kind of stuff. They didn't consult you, okay? Or you could be in a business, and y'all both be, you know, going here and there and everywhere about how y'all should run the business. And her whole point of view is to get married. She wants to start a contractual agreement with this man on the virtues of love, peace and harmony as far as marriage. And then she wants to get into a company with said person. <sighs> so many holes in that particular scenario. So many holes. I mean, is Michael gonna come with the same or he's going to match the same type of money you put down? Or is it going to be a 60-30 split? I mean, a 40 split? Or is it going to be a 50-50 split? Is it going to be a 70-30 split? What is going on? Anyway, her aunt, Lizzo, I'm going to call her mom. 
a mom was so upset, crying here and there and everywhere. I'm like, what you crying for? What you crying for? Did you make the decision? You were able to do something about your life. Whether you want to live a single or you just date men to the end of time, or were you also trying to get married as well? But see, people don't understand. This was already married to the entertainment. And my voice and my rap way of thinking, she's going to give all her all to her music career. So it's not very much you can say and do while holding out another career, which is marriage. Because marriage takes a lot of work, a lot of compromising, a lot of looking the other way, a lot of holding out tongue, all that kind of stuff. And Lizzo just doesn't seem like she's that. She seems more of an independent spirit, uh, a self-making woman, and she probably have to evaluate you on where would you fit in since she's all that and a bag of chips. Okay. So I told Kayla little will call me, but it's kind of a up uh, we call it an open and shut case. Mama's gonna do what she wanna do. Uh mama may make uh, mama may make more money than him. So of course she's gonna feel like she can call the shots. Uh, I say just let Lizzo be better be. I mean, everybody gotta learn. And the world is a very good teacher. You can earn a graduate degree or you can flunk out. It just depends on how you want to live. And, you know, what's the issues going on? Um, they felt that this man allegedly was treating her like a five piece that he really had no woman. And, you know, from how Lizzo is moving out here in these streets that I can see, uh, she knows that. That he could be doing something, but as long as she don't catch him, she could with that idea too. Probably the reason why she hadn't got married yet. It's that untold story because she was like, she ain't with that polygamy type of living and being. Her man is her man, and she's only one man they date and woman. But uh, I know Lizzo had did an interview and stuff, and she was saying certain things. I had read up on that too. Um, she opened up uh, about some truthers, uh from a previous relationship. Um, and she just really goes on different kinds of platforms, interviewing or uh, having an interview with different celebrity talk shows uh, hosts about her situation with her current boyfriend now. Okay, Lizzo said she in love and looking towards the future. Well, hmm. She said they're not playing any games anymore. I'm like, why are we even thinking about playing games? This ain't hot stuff. This ain't uh, Jeopardy. This ain't uh, Family Feud. We talking about some serious business here. Plus, depending on how long you be with that person, you ain't sign no prenup. Then you may be taken for a ride while you're trying to say you're trying to marry the man that you can have a business with. Girl, no, 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 no. It's good for you to have your business. It's good for him to have his business. And if y'all want to wait, make one in between you both, then you know it's going to be 50 50. But no way in hell should you be saying, I'm getting married to this man because I trust him enough to handle my business for our businesses. Uh, and that's why I'm marrying him. That's a dumbass. That's a dumbass will be. But her aunt caught the hand. She took away some of the points that I was telling her. Uh, because most people don't listen to people. I mean, really, did you listen to your mama, your aunt, your cousins when you caught yourself in a relationship and it led to marriage. Did you listen? Even though you had all the red flags, all of the uh, warning signs, all the bells and whistles going on, off in your head, but you suppressed it and you said, no, I want this. Meaning you were being very lustful. Okay, especially if you had mixed sex. You know what I'm saying? He getting a cookie nicky before he even uh, sit down and put the ring on and say, you know, we getting married tomorrow, okay? Be there or be square. So, that's very interesting. Very interesting. But like I said, I can't help a person if they don't want to be helped. If they've already designed the way that they want to live their life, then that's pretty much it. 
like I said, life is a very good, or living life is a very good teacher and gives you loads, but loads of experience, okay? So I just say, let, let this one be, let her be, let her play her flute, let her entertain, let her dance on the stage, have butt naked, you know? Let her do whatever she wants to do. It's her life, it's her prerogative. If she mess up, get married, and it's just not for her, she knows what she has to do after that. You know, there's ways and looks and, and information given to you on how to get married, but it's very limited on how you look the other way and keep your marriage in tow, even though a big infraction may have happened. You may want to run the other way. Maybe infidelity or taking money that wasn't theirs to be taken, uh, taken out for without consulting the person who money you were um, siphoning from those funds. So that could be a situation. Another one could be an outside uh, baby when you had a flame or something to that degree. So it's, it's just a lot. A lot. And then, you know, you can just be a habitual liar. And that can cause a, 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 a separation between the two of you all. But, um, yeah, this, uh, Lizzo said, told her mama she gonna get married one day. Mm-hmm. All right, and she ain't letting him go nowhere. I was like, I don't know how you can hold him here. You can't even hold him when you got a, uh, a marriage contract on their behind. You can't, you can't stop them from doing what they want to do. And that's vice versa. Man can't stop Lizzo to do what she want to do. If she want to have one night explain, she will. If you want to have one, he will. It just is what it is. That's all I had. I wanted to update y'all on the story. I was sitting over there talking to um, Lizzo's aunt and the comments and going she wanted to talk about about her niece and her, her, what she was doing out in them uh, Hollywood streets trying to hang with Beyonce and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and if she hang around Beyonce too long, Beyonce going to get that lemonade uh, picture and song and show her how to beat somebody down with a baseball bat. She was saying, but we don't want her to be hanging out with me. Uh, we don't be taking no men. <laughs> and her sister, damn though, Solange will pack a punch here in the bed on the person that harms you or thought he give you harm. But honey, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I will see y'all on the next video.